Here in Kansas City, there's so much that shapes who and what we are. In a new series, Chronicles of KC, we're highlighting some of the lesser known stories that are still relevant to the fabric of our community. Last week we told you about the Battle of Westport, but there's a house you've probably driven by that played a very important role as well. Tonight, imagine this. You're at home with your wife and kids, like right now, maybe even making dinner or reading a book, when all of a sudden, boom! It's a very human story, and it's one that you can put yourself into to some extent. I mean, Frank Warnell was nine years old when his house was turned into a hospital. You see, you need to know this. Before the Civil War, Frank's dad, John Warnell, was a jack of all trades, a successful farmer. He helped establish the Bank of Kansas City, worked in real estate and insurance, a one-time Missouri State Senator, a big donor to Baptist churches. He was even one of the original trustees of William Jew College, donating thousands of dollars to the school. He gained his, his prominence in Kansas City because of his philanthropic efforts. Then one day during the Civil War, they would have just kind of ransacked the house taken over every part of it and just kind of used it for their own purposes. Both Union and Confederate soldiers using his home as a field hospital. The soldiers looted small objects. They actually took furniture out of the house that was sort of in their way and just dumped it out of doors and windows onto the Warnell's front lawn. And the Warnell's dining room? Was used as actually the operating theater while this was being used as a, as a hospital. Most of the stories involve um, a lot of amputations in particular. Um, amputations were the most common form of surgery. So that would have been occurring right here in what is now a beautiful dining room. A lot of blood, gush, and limbs in this room in the 1800s. Absolutely. Yeah, this house was really completely destroyed in a lot of ways. The first floor used by Civil War surgeons. The upstairs, well, they were used as recovery rooms for the soldiers. Westport is thought of as just kind of a place to go to drink and eat. Um, but at the time, it was a really critical jumping off point for people as they were traveling westward on the trails. John Wernel and his home, a big part of that. The home, which is in its original location, once stood on a 500-acre farm. At the time, it was built in 1858. It was about three miles away from the nearest town, the town of Westport. Rooms have been kept up, and many aren't too far off from how life was during and after the Civil War. And let me tell you, I drive by this house almost every day on my ride into work, and it wasn't until recently I knew its purpose. You can see and hear the stories for yourself by taking a trip to the John Warnell House Museum, aptly located at 61st and Warnell in Kansas City.